The youth in the Democratic Republic of Congo make up more than 30% of the population. However, more than 7 million children between the ages of 5 and 17 are denied access to education. Revive Congo, a charity founded by Pamela Nyandu and Lakeisha Kayoka, aims to support DRC's youth by equipping them with leadership skills that will help change the country around them. I'm with I'm with one of the co-founders, Pamela Nyandu. Hi, Pamela. Hello. Thanks for joining us. So how did Revive Congo come about? So Revive Congo came about in 2011 when, my, when myself and Lakeisha Kayoka had a conversation and thought, what can we do now to actually help our country? We were two young people that had just started university and we had a passion to help our country. So we sat down and we said, OK, let's do something. It doesn't matter how big or small it is. Let's help the young people because they're tomorrow's leaders. So how has your organisation managed to target young people? Well, currently we're working with a non-profit organisation called Congo Leadership Initiative that is established in, the, in Kinshasa. And what we do is that we, went, we mentor their young people and as well as this, we raise awareness by create, well, doing events, creating um, different workshops and activities in order to tell people in London about what is going on and also make them interested so that they can also donate to our cause so that we can help more young people in Congo. How is Revive Congo doing on social media? Well, at the minute we're doing great because of places like Twitter and Facebook. So we've got a Twitter, we've got a Facebook page, and we also have a website called revivecongo.org, which was just launched last week. So we're doing great. Any special hashtags? Um, we have hashtag make Congo famous again. Great. And, you know, do you think it's high time that more young people from the African diaspora, like yourself, do more to show the positive light of the African continent? I think it is, and I'm very happy because I feel like we are doing more. You know, I've come across organisations such as Passion for Motherland, YPC, and they're doing a great job um, by raising awareness in the UK and getting the young people interested about helping, you know, back home. And I feel like we're doing a great job and we just need to work together, continue pressing on, and we will make an Im impact in Africa. And you'll be able to break down stereotypes. We'll be able to break down the stereotype and we'll have young African people in, you know, in Africa not wanting to come here, but we'll be jealous of them being there and saying, oh, do you know what, we want to go back home. So that's the plan. <laughs> Great, wonderful. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thanks.